Is Liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. All right. Uh, the reason I've asked people to the bench here is uh, uh, when we went back, we only discussed uh, Mr. Keenan's case. We didn't discuss your case, but, but as the issues developed, it became uh, obvious that we need to have everybody here because of the similarity of the issues that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is this is set for a, a trial today. There's been a motion to uh, dismiss on various grounds that, that Attorney Meyer filed on behalf of Mr. Freeman. Yes. You understand that? Uh, have you seen that? Yes. Okay. Do you do you uh, join in that motion? I fully support that motion. There's also a proposal here for uh, the parties, and the parties in this case mean uh, uh, the, the prosecutor and, and, and the defendant, Mr. Freeman, mm -hmm. uh, to uh, jointly stipulate to the facts, mm -hmm. certain facts, if you can. With that. I have been acquainted with that. Okay. And do you, do you join in that as well? I, I certainly support that. Yeah. I mean, in other words, I think Mr. Lauren indicated he was going to ask you to sign it. This has been signed by Mr. Lauren and Mr. Meyer. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's, he's been, because you're not represented by counsel, and make it clear Mr. Meyer is not representing you. Mm -hmm. and, and interest, many of the facts in this case look like they, they're very similar, but, but certain, certain, certain issues might be different for you than they are for Mr. Freeman. So you're, I mean, he can't represent you. Right. Indirectly, you may benefit or not from right. what, what happens, but you can't screw you out of your case. Right. right. So Mr. Uh, Lauren wants to, I've uh, seen the other one, if you wanted, wanted to agree to that. He says a copy of the Christmas story. Mm-hmm. Yes. To sign it, I will then sign it as well. Now, does this... Does this mean that trial does not go forward? Well, that's right? the next question. We'll get, we'll get to that. This doesn't necessarily mean that we don't go forward in the trial. Okay. It's just a stipulation of certain facts. There okay. may be other facts that are not stipulated to or that we need to know here today, this morning. Okay. I, I, will, I agree with these facts. All right. Uh, yeah. Now, I guess the next question is, what is going to be the scope of the hearing, if any? Well, I think since uh, Attorney Lauren is the one who referred to proof of presenting the case to the prosecution, that's really what we to address. I agree with the state is uh, um, basically, uh, the state would be uh, submitting evidence on it, it's what is uh, indicated in the stipulations, that there was a uh, no trespass order uh, drafted fact that stipulations have been entered in both cases that, that further testimony is required in jail. Again, it's your From the state's perspective, uh, no. Even with respect to the motion to dismiss? Uh, yeah, the motion, uh, the motion to dismiss, uh, uh, you know, the state believes that uh, the basic legal facts would be sufficient and the arguments of law regarding access to the, uh, to the courts what I'm asking is whether, even though these, 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 he feels that these facts are sufficiently, mm -hmm. sufficient stipulation to allow us to get to the next stage here, which is, I guess, address the motion to dismiss. Is that where we would be proceeding with it? Uh, yes. Then the state, Mr. Lauren's office, would have the opportunity. Uh, how much time? Well, the state only wanted to respond. For, uh, uh, time for something like 10 days in that. Uh, well, just tell me how much time, just to read it.
Let's agree that October 17th is the, is the deadline. It's probably about right, okay? It's Wednesday. And then I'll leave you on your own on the interlocutory. An interlocutory appeal is, is something whereby the, one of the parties or the parties agree jointly to have an issue addressed by the Supreme Court if the Supreme Court accepts it, uh, even before you get to the merits of the hearing or something like that. Mm -hmm. So we would have to, be in you'd have to be in touch with this defendant also about that to see whether she concurred. Your Honor, I would just propose um, that the court schedule a hearing perhaps 45 days from now on a motion to dismiss okay. um, with the notation that the sheriff would be available um, to testify as to the sign of call. Is the sheriff here? Uh, yes. <coughs> here is here. Okay. We, uh, it's being proposed that uh, there be a hearing in about 45 days and we need to check with your schedule. Which we put, well, I should put it toward the maybe early, well, early November might not be the best time to ship. Um, why don't we do it? How about the second week in November? Maybe a little longer than that. Is that all right? <coughs> Copy of Mr. Meyer's motion. Okay, and yet you get your copy of the signed uh, stipulation before you leave. You should have that with you. And Your Honor, while uh, Ms. Saransky is at the bench, uh, Ms. Saransky has contacted uh, the state regarding uh, the possibility of having her bail amended to PR bail and the $500 uh, cash bail she's currently being held on being returned to uh, Mr. Bernard posted it. Uh, the state indicated it would take uh, no position and leave it up to dishonorable court. However, the state would uh, I'd like to indicate to the court that Ms. Saratsky has been moving in Arizona. Uh, she clearly is not at risk of flight as she returned voluntarily to the hearing today. Um, the state will indicate that she's attending college in Arizona and the state believes that uh, uh, 
Okay, so the uh, bail is converted to personal recognizance bail, um, and you can, it takes a while for the money to be sent back to you, so you have to go way outside and give them an address where they can have the money sent. Okay. come from Concord. Uh, we originally had you at 75 Leverage Street in Keene. What would be your new address then? Um, you can send it to uh, 11212. Oh, that bail should be sent to me. You want to send, oh, send it to you? Will it be able to check you've written me? It'll be to me because I posted it. Oh, hang on a second. Let me just take a look at how the bail is. set up that the surety is uh, Ms. Zeratsky. Uh, if, if Mr. Freeman gave you the money yeah. to get out, then you have a, uh, you know, it's a personal obligation between the two of you. It would be easier if the check could just go straight to him? I, but if I'm it can't, sure, then... Well, yeah, I'm not sure they'll be able to do that. Okay. They can't, they'll have to go back to where the surety is. Yeah. So you, you, uh, okay, you can have to update have, the surety? You can have to set, you can't do that now. You, you will have, you'll have to settle up with Mr. Freeman. So, you know what, they can send it to me and I can send you a personal check. Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just read, remember, Ms. Zorowski's filed her own state of the facts. Mm-hmm. You see that? Uh, mm -hmm. but, but she's, but I take it, apart from what you filed here, you're the stipulation that controls is what we talked about today. There is nothing in my statement of fact that okay. contradicts okay. that. All right, so once again, is there a PO box or something to send this to? Oh, you can just send it to uh, 11212. What's that? Well, 112212, yeah. north 120th place, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85259. Eight five two five nine. Okay, so it's one twenty nine. Right, and then uh, all right. right. That's all set. We'll, we'll deal with that outside. Do you have any questions? Um. So the stipulation no. essentially obviates the need to have trial testimony here today. Yes. Motion to dismiss is it's essentially as if we had as if we had the testimony. The defendant, Mr. Freeman, filed a motion to dismiss, which you're joining in. Yes. Uh, and they have time to respond to that, okay. and the motion to dismiss will be heard on that November day. Which will be the 14th, Wednesday, the 14th, at 9 a.m. Yeah. November 14th, 9 a.m. And on that date, will I have the opportunity to ask uh, the sheriff some questions? Yes, that's the purpose of the hearing. That's why we make sure the sheriff will be available because that because uh, that's, that was, that'll pretty much be what, okay. the, what the issues are about. Okay. And then the court will need some time to consider what the evidence is. And <clears throat> okay, so I will have I will have the opportunity to. Well, you're here. Okay. Oh. I'll be good. <laughs> Great. <coughs> that'll work for me. Okay. We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.